Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at a new game called Empire of the Ants on the Steam Deck Steam OS. I've already got it installed, so let's just run the game. And I've made this game even work better because I've installed an FSR 3 frame generation mod for it to run on the Steam Deck because this game built in does not have AMD frame generation. So yeah, it does have DLSS frame generation, but you need an Nvidia display card for that, right? And, and the Steam Deck does not have that. So we can't toggle that on, but because we've got this mod, we can toggle on DLSS frame generation and it translates it to FSR frame generation. So let's take a look. Options, not sure if that made any sense to you guys. So if you go to the options video, resolution on 720p, this is the Steam Deck. Okay, display mode full screen, V-Sync off, and you can see here resolution upscaling. So by default, it's TSR. We don't have an option for AMD FSR. But like I said, this game does have built-in DLSS. So we need to toggle this on so we can get this DLSS frame generation toggle, okay? But it's because it's just a mod. It's tricking the game to think we have an NVIDIA display guard so we can toggle this on. And then it translates to AMD FSR 3 or XEXS, okay? So let me show you. So DLSS and then we can select the quality. I'm gonna leave it on quality. And then sharpness, okay, let's go to one. And then we're gonna to toggle on frame generation, okay. And then let's toggle on this OptiScaler. This is a this is the mod, okay. And you toggle this by pressing the insert key on your keyboard. If you don't have a keyboard, this is what I like to do. Go to the controller settings. And then I enabled the back grip buttons and I mapped one of my back key, my back key buttons to insert key. So when I press it, I can get this. And then you can see here, upscalers. It's currently set to XEXS. You can change it to FSR 3.1 if you want or FSR 2.2, 2.1, all right? Depending on what upscaler you want. I think XEXS is pretty good. Okay, so this DLSS is actually changing it, like converting it to XEXS. We're using XEXS upscaling and then we've got the AMD FSR frame generation on. Okay, and then graphics. Okay, let's set it to low for now. Let's see how it performs. Okay, let's skip the cutscene. Go directly to gameplay. Yeah, like I said, even without the mod, this game does run pretty well, like 30-ish frames. Let me interrupt for a second. I want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. If you're not familiar with Instant Gaming, they're a gaming website that sell games to you at a discounted price, like cheap prices. So if you want to save yourself some money, make sure you check out their website using my link below. And it's not only games for the PC. So they've got the games for PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo. And I'll give you an example. So the game that we're talking about today, Empire of the Ants, it's currently on their website, the Steam version, the standard edition. It's currently at 23% discount. So it's around 30 euros. That's a huge savings. And if you, after you buy this game from their website, here you can click on how to activate your game. They'll give you the product code and you can just enter this onto your Steam library and then you know the game will be activated in your Steam library like like you just purchased the game from Steam. So it's, it's no no big difference, but you get yourself big savings. So make sure you check out instantgaming.com and let's get back to our video. Okay, but with the mod on, you can see we're getting like 60 frames. Actually pretty good. This low doesn't look too great, especially when it's blown up onto the, it, because it's 720p. It looks good on the Steam Deck screen if you're playing handheld mode. But uh, yeah, let's go to medium. Medium looks a lot better. There's not much impact actually because we've got frame generation on. So yeah, let's just go to high settings. So these are the best settings you've got. And we're getting like 50 frames. So it's pretty good, pretty good. How about, how about DLAA? -A. 
Okay, we have to follow, chase the butterfly. So this is like the, the best settings you can get. And we're running at above 30 FPS, which is actually pretty good for a new game like this, right? New entry in that butterfly. So we can't fall into the water, we die. The graphics are pretty good. Talk to your sister. All right. Find our sister. Checkpoint reached. Hey. Hey, come closer. You seem disoriented. Okay, yeah, so pretty good game. Um it's best with the DLSS enabler mod. I have videos showing you how to install this mod. If you're not familiar, go. I'll link it right up here and you can check out those videos, how to install the DLSS enabler mod. And then, yeah, I'll leave it here. If you have any issues, let me know in the comment section. And thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Later.